the Carretera Austral in rural Patagonia, known as one of the most scenic roads for adventure seekers in South America. After going on a rafting expedition in the previous episode, I visit Chai Tan in this episode and I will finish my hitchhiking adventure in Puerto Montt. So, sunshine on my last day here in Futalafu, and now I move on to Chai Tan, a city which was totally destroyed 2008 by a volcano. It's about 150 kilometers. The sun is shining, it's Saturday, so maybe the chances are high to get a ride. And so I thought, but after approximately two hours of waiting and several tries to get a ride, I finally found a bus to take me down to the city of Shaiten, which is not a big city anymore because it is almost completely destroyed. So I wanted to find out more about this. Shaiten was once the capital of the region until 2008. In May 2008, the nearby Shaiten volcano erupted for the first time in more than 9,000 years and destroyed the whole city. Shaiten was not destroyed by the lava, as you might think. It was more the ash and the mud which came down and made the river overflow. So whole Shaiten was completely destroyed by a big flood. But luckily there were no people killed because the government evacuated the city a few days before everything happened. If you walk around Chai Ten today, almost five years later, it still feels like walking around a ghost town because most of the buildings are still abundant. Chai Ten, hopefully my last stop before Puerto Montt, as you see. It's raining, I'm, uh, like, I'm looking like a Gore-Tex soldier and I wait for yeah, for a ride for the last stretch, but I guess I have to wait at least two hours because the boat, the only boat which runs today is at two and at the moment it's ten and the distance is about an hour. So yeah, I guess I have to wait a bit and I hope it will not rain that much and um, then hopefully I can continue to Puerto Montt. So, two rides later, I arrived in the middle of the nature. No cars around still. I guess I have to wait an hour or something more to get a ride. Or I'm lucky like before, the guy who just works here on the road. Um, so maybe I find another guy who works uh, in the next village. But he said in this next village there are just 10 people who live there. So, um, let's see. Otherwise, I just have my tent and walk. And so I started hiking and enjoyed the scenery here in the national park called Pumalin. After about an hour, I finally found somebody to take me to Caleta Gonzalo, where I needed to find the next lift to Puerto Montt. All right, guys, I found a, <laughs> I found a lift. There's this bus over there. It's about only 10,000 to get to Puerto Montt today, and I will be in Puerto Montt um, yeah, around 10 in the night. So, I guess this was the hitchhiking on the Carretera Austral and the last parts are more or less on the boats. So, this is one of the reasons why I did uh, also the northern part of the Carretera Austral because you have a lot of ferry crossings and this one is the longest with about four hours and you just um, drive through amazing landscapes, through the fjords, um, just below Puerto Montt. Um, and it's just, I mean, the weather is maybe not that perfect, but still is very stunning.
Puerto Montt, the start of the Carretera Austral. I made it here yesterday in the night and with that finished the Road 7, uh, the hitchhiking adventure on the Road 7. 15 of my rides have been lifted by hitchhiking, 3 buses and 4 boats. In the next video blog episode I will show you Puerto Varas because it's much more beautiful than this city here. Until then, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, check out Facebook and of course check out the other video in which you can see here from the Carretera Austral. So, see you! If you also wanted to travel to South America, make sure to check out my travel guides with the links provided in the info box below.